Hello, everyone. Welcome to Caging Greatness. It's another mini-sode. Uh, we're calling this one Kitchen Greatness because our very own Jeremy has made a, a delicious-looking meal. Jeremy, would you tell us what you've done and how you've made it and why it's better than anything that French guy could have made? Well, uh, so this is a one-pot chicken parmesan recipe that I made. That I found the recipe online some years ago, and it has chicken that I've cut up and then I cooked in my... Uh, cast iron Dutch oven and uh, I used olive oil and had to cook the chicken for five uh, minutes to let it get a good and brown, put some Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic pepper in it, put all that out after about five minutes cooking and then I put in some minced onion and garlic and got that till it gave a nice aromatic uh, smell for, uh, to let me know that it was done and then uh, I added in uh, some uh, marinara sauce mm. uh, and then uh, and some water and then I let that come to a nice boil and mm. then I brought it down to a simmer followed that by some rigatoni noodles and put the chicken back in let it cook for 15 minutes added a half a cup of mozzarella and a fourth of a cup of parmesan and added some more Italian seasoning and uh, that is what you have in front of you oh well it, I must say it smells delicious but let's uh let's give it the old taste huh yeah let's see how it goes hmm Mm. Mm. It's okay. What? I mean, it's it's no best chef of 2021 canon grant uh, creation, but I, you know it's all right. It's fine. I'm going to hurt you. Uh, well, uh, Where's my knife? Perhaps <laughs> perhaps I was too hasty. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'll be right back. No, put that knife down. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Oh, yeah. Come here. <laughs> Santa Claus here. Are you looking for the perfect Christmas gift for that special someone? Well, look no further than tpublic.com slash user slash caging greatness. They've got all the best Nicholas Cage related merch. And perhaps you have a favorite co-host. Well, they've all got merch too. <laughs> Make my job a little bit easier and get some great stuff for that special person in your life. Again, that's tpublic.com slash user slash caging greatness. <laughs> and don't worry about how many cookies they bribe me with to do this ad. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this special episode of Caging Greatness. It's your host, Shimmy, here with your co-host, Jeremy. Hi. We are doing a review of the outdoors. It's cold. It is currently uh, mid-November, mid to late November, and this is just a special series of reviews, starting with outside. We are outside. Um, yeah, no. It is, yeah. it is a crisp... 50 something degrees 51 uh, I think 51 yeah uh, I'm enjoying it for the most part nope nope not for me <laughs> too cold uh, that, that wind is not fun either the, the wind is difficult um, I don't have any chapstick either no no it's it's quite dry quite cool yeah uh, very open no animals either uh, all right, we're gonna take a quick break and we're gonna fix this yeah and we're back after the break. We have decided that in order to more accurately review outside, we needed to come inside. That was a great idea. It was a good idea. Yeah. Uh, we're now inside uh, where the climate is controlled. There's no unpleasant wind. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's an animal in here, too. There is an adorable dog. Uh, but yeah, outside, it's wide open skies, crisp blue. The trees are green. Uh, they're kind of brownish because it's, you know, fall. Yeah. But overall, I don't like it. It's too colorful. It's too, it's too outdoorsy. You see, it's just. Yeah. It's, <laughs> I'm not a fan. So we're going to, we're just going to go real quick around the table. We're going to give our five star, uh, out of five star review. We'll talk briefly about outside and then we'll call it a day. Uh, so Jeremy, what did you think of outdoors? I'm going to have to get it a, like a two and a half right now. Like it's, it's too cold for me. I, I'm a tiny guy and I have to wear like a heavy coat. Yeah. Um, I didn't have any chapstick and my lips are like already dry. That's fair. Um, yeah. Also, like, I have allergies, and yeah. all that space just gives me too much uh, existential dread. That's fair. That's very fair. Uh, I'm glad you mentioned that. You know, for me, I, I grew up 
uh, not liking the outdoors. I'm not an outdoors kid. I was never never big into outdoors. Yeah. Um, I now I like the cold. The cold I can do more of, but but I need something above my head that isn't wide open sky. That's just that's terrifying. It's yeah. just too much. It's too open. It's too much. It's too wide. Yeah. Too much to think about. Uh, so you know, I'm going to continue the grand tradition that I have on this show. Uh, I always rate everything higher than uh, the co-hosts. Uh, so I, for me, the outdoors it gets a three and a half right now because it is so cool. Like I love the temperature. I could do with more of that. I'm a big guy, so I, I run a little warm. Yeah. If this was summer, I would probably rank it a little higher because I like the warmth. And see, like if it was summer, like my, my score would go down to like one and a half. Uh, we wouldn't okay. even try to rate it outside. Like that was that would have been that have been a no go from moment one from the jump. Yeah. Just weather in in particular is just so unpredictable. Yeah, I mean, like, sure, they have meteorologists who make a whole career out of predicting the weather. But, like, what do you really know, right? You're just playing a guessing game. Like, nobody's, like, meteorology isn't an exact science like uh, astrology or flat earthers. You know, it's... it's Yeah, I mean, (laughs) clearly, we're on a giant disc that spins. Yeah, this is... We're on a giant uh, disc that is stationary in the universe... Everything revolves around us. The stars are just holes in the ceiling. We all know that. Everybody knows that. But you left out the part about the, the, the fact that we're on the back of a giant turtle. That's true. And, and also, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but the moon is hollow. Oh. Because that's where the lizard people keep their mood-altering rays. That explains why that one podcast I listened to, they talked about the moons full of snakes. Yes. Lizard snakes. Yeah. Lizard people snakes. Yeah. Snake people. Moon snakes. Snake pliskin. Snake Plissken. Maybe that's, right. that's the next movie. Escape from the Moon. Could, well, it's, I think it's going to be the plot of Indiana Jones 5 because it's set in 1969 oh. and there's Nazis working on NASA projects in 1969. So I think Indy's going to the moon. That's crazy. They just skipped four. Yeah, no, crazy, right? Yeah. Super crazy. Anyway. Well, uh, thank you for joining us for this special review of The Outdoors. Uh, overall, you know, we're not really fans. That's uh, I would rate the indoors higher. Like that's a, that's it's a it's a passing grade. That's six out of ten stars from Cajun Greatness for an outdoors review. But again, that is heavily dependent on when we do it. But yeah, thanks yeah. for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Cajun Greatness. Stay indoors. Look, I don't I don't know what I'm doing. I was told to do this or I'd be fired, and I really need this job. But look, I'm I'm an elf and. We're overworked, and the boss man said that you need to go to tpublic.com slash user slash caging greatness, whatever that is. I just I just want to go back to making rocking horses, but they moved me to the jack-in-the-box section, and those springs are really hard to get right. So could, could you guys just go, like, buy some shirts or something from these, these podcasters that gave the fat man all those fucking cookies? Seriously, just... Just buy a shirt. It'd make my Christmas a little bit better. All right. That's this tpublic.com slash user slash Cajun Greatness. Just like buy a buy a sticker or something. God stupid. Hello everyone and welcome to Cajun Greatness. We're here with another mini review during our holiday exile. I mean break. Uh, I am your boy Shimmy. Here with Jeremy. Hi. And we're talking about one of our favorite subjects between the two of us, Street Fighter. Yes. I am very excited. What, what's got you so excited, Jeremy? Well, there's a, like, uh, you know, I love, like, the story and just the characters. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like, there's, what, we're up to six now. I mean, not if you count, like, some of the other ones that are, like, the six. rehashes. Yeah. Six. Well, I mean, yeah, there, I guess, because there's the... The main one, and then a couple of the cartoon ones, I guess, and the Chun Li. And there's like so, like a bunch of like weird, you know, you have timeline shenanigans, and they even like cross over with other properties sometimes. And uh, I don't, I don't remember that part, but I, I mean, there were two separate timelines, yeah, because there was the, there was the Chun Li, and then the, the first one. I get it. Yeah, you know, and. Uh, there was all these like crazy little side stories and all these like cool side characters. Like, did you know there's like a luchador that has a frying pan who like cooks stuff? And there's even like another like luchador wrestler, and she's got like a friend and it's Rainbow Mika. And God, I don't I don't remember any of those. I, I remember like the main crew like, and, and Robin Shao was there also for some reason. Well, you know, and uh, 
Uh, Zangief fights a bear. Uh, no, no, he, he fought a Honda. Well, yeah, they he's fought a Honda multiple times. Like it's 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 been plenty of. No, I mean it was just the once though. It was on the monitors and. Yeah, no, I, yeah, you know, and the, they're all fighting, like, just various, ba- there's, like, the, even this one guy during the, the, the prequels that's, like, his name's, like, G or something. Prequels. There were no prequels. Yeah, it's like the Alpha series. No, it was just, the, it was just the one. It was the one, and then the two, and then they did some cartoons and shit. Oh, yeah, no, there was the, the really awesome, like, uh, animated movie where, like, Ken gets hypnotized by uh, Bison, and he fights Ryu, and I think, like, Akuma shows up. Yeah, no, I love that one. That one was great. But like the the main one we're talking about yeah. is Raul Julia and and Jean Claude Van Damme. Oh, that game was terrible. How dare you? It what? There it wasn't a game. Yeah, there was. No, it was a movie. Yeah, there was Street Fighter the movie, the game. Yeah, and it was Street Fighter the movie. I have the Bison Bucks to prove it. Bison Buck. Yeah, it's just as good as regular money. Yeah, but what? <laughs> But like, you know, there's like this was Sh- uh, Shadowloo. Yeah, it's, and is the country that Bison was president of? Right. Yeah, and it's like an evil organization that I mean, I wouldn't say that evil. like Cammy's trying to like take down, and no, Chun Li was part too. of the United Nations. And Chun Li was a reporter. I saw it. But like, Cammy's like a clone. What? No, it's Kylie Minogue. That's a musician. I know. <laughs> She wasn't in the game. Well, I mean, she was in the Street Fighter, the movie, the game. No, she, which, I, she's, I, could, I could pull it up. She's right there. She's next that, to Van Damme. That was when, like, Capcom decided to do the Mortal Kombat thing where they just did the motion captures, and it was bad. And what, what you, it's, it's not motion capture. It was, a, it was actual Street Fighter. It was Van Damme and, and, and Kylie Minogue and Raul Julia. It was great. I, I love Raul Julia. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. I, I think we're talking about two different things here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna get this sorted out. We'll come back with a different Street Fighter review when we're talking about the thing that matters. What the fighting game matters too? It revolutionized fighting games. Raul Julia. I, yeah, he's awesome. And Adam's family and Street Fighter the <laughs> the movie. All right, this has been a disaster. We'll see y'all next time. Hail Bison. Yeah. Well, hey there, folks. Do you like mugs, T-shirts, phone cases, stickers, wall art, pillows, all sorts of fun things with fun logos? Well, if you do, head on down to tpublic.com slash user slash caging greatness for all sorts of great merchandise and support your local creators. That's us. Hooray! Hello, everyone, and welcome to Caging Greatness. We've got another special mini review for you. We're here to discuss coffee. In fact, a specific coffee. Uh, but I'm your boy, Shimmy. We got Jeremy here. Hi. Uh, this is, once again, we're doing some filler episodes for the Christmas season. Uh, so what we're doing now is we have Kaya Kopi Luwak coffee. I think I'm trying to pronounce all this right. So if I'm, <laughs> Thank you. If, uh, if I mispronounce anything, please forgive me. I'm doing my best. So uh, this is apparently the rarest coffee on earth. It's from the Pangalingan Highlands of West Java, Indonesia. Uh, they're organically grown beans. Best practices by Fairtrade International. Okay. Uh, apparently it's smooth and earthy with a hint of chocolate and a clean aftertaste. And depending on the harvest season, you might notice a fruity citrus undertone. Oh, okay. Uh, so we've got the we've got the coffee here. And Jeremy, uh, go ahead and give it a sniff. You know, take a sip and see what you think. Smells like gas station coffee. <laughs> you know, I, I also agree. It does smell from here like gas station coffee. So uh, he's taking a sip. Oh, oh, that is a oh. face. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, boy. Man. Wow. That, that is, um, it's like really bitter. Um, That's not even. It's a- like a harsh flavor that doesn't even like. I, I have some really good coffees here uh, that I, I normally drink. You are a coffee snob. But uh, our friend friend of the show, Eli, <laughs> recommended that we try this coffee. And um, I'm just going to say, I hate you <laughs> so uh, much right now. Uh, so funny thing about this coffee is apparently uh, the beans are partially digested by small Indonesian cat mammals. 
Nope, nope, second drink. Oh, it's not good. Wow. <laughs> That's not, this isn't even a bit. You really look like you might vomit. Oh, it's so bad. This hot chocolate I'm enjoying, though, is fantastic. Wait, you're drinking hot chocolate? Oh, I didn't tell you? No! There wasn't enough beans for the other cup. Oh, you son of a bitch! Anyway, thanks for joining us on KG Great. I'm Greatness. gonna hurt you! <laughs>